Alright, so we're checking out the only game where the favorite ride is the sweet release of death. It's Planet Coaster. New scenario, damn it. So everyone always wants the fastest roller coaster. Uh, we're gonna kill people differently this time. I'm gonna kill people by like starving them to death because the roller coaster is gonna take so long to complete. This is kind of weird because there's like an in-game timeline and an out-of-game timeline. I'm pretty sure I can get us to a ride that takes 10 years to complete before my computer just can't handle the amount of track on the screen anymore. So it's gonna be so bad that kids will get on the roller coaster and leave as adults, technically. I don't think that that happens in the game, but it would be pretty funny. Ride to die. Is there an option to make the staff patient? Because that's probably the uh, personality trait that's going to benefit these poor people the most. Apathetic. The lazy is probably a good one too. They really won't need to do too much. I also need to find a way to do this without wanting to kill myself in real life. It's because even though we have a way to speed the game up, if I make the ride super long, like it's gonna take a legitimate long ass time to complete the ride in the game. I want to kill the people in the game. I don't want to cause my own death. First things first, in order to do this, there's a couple of rules that I'm imposing upon myself because I don't know why I just felt like it. First off, we can't overlap the tracks. Second, the cart has to move forward, like at all times. We can't just have a ride where the cart stays in one spot, like it just locks down and pauses for 400 years because that's dumb. So we need a coaster that we can propel forward at all times, but it needs to propel forward extremely slowly slowly. Ooh, drive tires. And we can move it back and forth. It goes down to two miles an hour, god almighty. There's chain lifts, but that gets down to four miles an hour instead of two. Clearly not torturous enough. Oh, if we use the spinny one, people can very slightly spin while they move at almost no miles an hour. Oh, this one's even better. It's got friction wheel lifts and it goes up, down, and back and forth. We're gonna need that at the end because if I spiral this thing like a million times, eventually it has to get back to the track. So I'm gonna have to like go over a couple of pieces of track to, in order to get back down here and connect. I'm gonna have to put it above ground a little bit too so that we can have some stuff in the middle here. So, you know, people have a reason to come to the park besides to watch their lives slowly go by. Put it right about there. Turn off track support so that my frame rate doesn't want to shoot me in the mouth. Bring that down to two miles an hour. <laughs> want to make this as long as possible. I unintentionally made a little underground area too. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm kind of curious though how long people will spend underground. Okay, so now I need to start getting this as close as humanly possible. You just, just barely want it to almost touch right about there. Now we're getting closer. You can damn near fit a slice of paper in between these two tracks. This is gonna be three full revolutions. So we're gonna have to test this and just kind of see where we lie at the moment. So let me go ahead and connect this monstrosity. In May 1 of year one, it's time to find out what happens when people get on this ride and how long it takes. Ah. Uh... I'm pretty sure it can get completed from here. I've got the original movement here at two miles an hour as well. So the entirety of the coaster goes two miles. This is on fast speed. This is how fast it goes at normal speed forever. It's what is it? June 6th? All right, here we go. Imagine this is your life for probably, I don't know, if you're a teenager, you're probably being an adult by the time you get off. If you're a child, you'll probably be a teenager, and if you're an adult, you'll probably will have killed yourself before the ride is over. We're in the middle of August, and this thing has only made it around the very first turn. We're currently underground, but <laughs> the camera just shot off into space. What the hell did I do? I don't know where I am now. I'm in the stratosphere. Whoa, there we go. So we still haven't completed even one full revolution and we're currently in March of the next year. Hey, March 17th. Now it's time to do it all over again. While this is continuing to go on, we're gonna have to uh, start building up the park here. Festive first aid, this is called, for when you wanna feel good that you're going into cardiac arrest. It'd be kind of ironic if someone was diabetic and they were going into shock and they got brought into this first aid building. That's right, everyone. Try the brand new gulpy flavor 
bubbling meth. I just noticed that these toilets are completely co-ed. Like, men and women, it doesn't matter. Just walk in both sides like it's no big deal. I mean, that's fine. All right, June of year two. And we're finally making it around. You have to go through this bend and then under the ground. And then it will finally be on the third lap. I kind of misclicked when I put down this Western food area. And the fencing is right in the middle of the pathway. This is something where I would be on my cell phone and I would bust my freaking knee right on this post. I'm gonna put like some bins here so that people break their shins on these instead of the wood post. I'm gonna just knock my bin over, you son of a bitch. Bruh. Okay, it's taken roughly a year and a half, but we're finally on the last lap. Okay, so the entirety of the real life duration of the ride is 11,720 seconds. I think that comes out to like 3.2 hours or something. I don't even know. It's like three something hours. So the, I think the way the game time works is one month is 12 real life minutes and there's eight months in a year. So that comes out to 16 point something months. So it's right about two years to complete this amount of track. And if you look, because everything's like, I think that the generic measurement is kilometers, but they just happen to give us miles per hour. The track traversal amount and the duration is almost exact because it says two miles an hour, but I think what's really happening is we're ending up right at about one meter a second. One meter per second is like 2.2 miles an hour, so that's where you're getting it from. Thus, if we can create the longest track possible at the slowest speed, once we find out its length, we'll know exactly how long it takes to get from one end to the other. Only issue is, I would have to leave my computer running for like a day straight to complete it. Oh, whatever, for Valhalla. All right, so this needs to go. Now we can continue onward. Again, we want this as close as possible each time without it actually overlapping. This wasn't exactly my intent, but I'm slowly sawing this mountain in half because all the tracks are sitting right next to one another. I'm starting to get to a point now where it's starting to affect the frame rate. I'm somewhat curious to know if there's an amount of tracks that the game won't let you go beyond because I, I don't know, I feel like eventually we're going to reach some sort of cap. Coming up to pass number nine right now. I can only imagine these little children are like, yeah, I can't wait to ride the roller coaster. And their parents are like, God, please no. This lady's like, hey, Stella, did you get everything on your bucket list done? Because we're never going back after this. I like how I hired a janitor and despite them being around, people are still kicking my friggin' trash cans over and letting all their used sludge and condoms spill out onto the ground. So, <laughs> This is the fastest speed setting. It has been 10 in-game years so far. It has been four real life hours about right now that I've had the game just playing in the background. We just got past the turn. So now there's three more full revolutions that this thing has to go on. Which means that if I want to get higher in years, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to let this thing go by itself. But I have figured out a way to find out how long it would take because it goes a meter a second. The cost of the track is $11 per 10 meters. It's always the same. So if I find out how much the thing costs, minus the cost that it takes to build, you know, the entrance and stuff like that, or the, the main platform, then we'll know how many meters in total this thing is. Right now, it's already destroying the game. My frame rate right now with this thing is 12. Jesus, the current blueprint is at $671,000. Okay, I think we might be getting into the realm of game breaking we can probably still go further but i'm at like eight frames a second when i play and when i tried to quit out of the game it took like two and a half minutes i turned all the graphics down as far as they will go and i'm still getting about 12 frames a second i noticed something else interesting too when you close down the game and like save and then come back it restarts your year so i'm back to year one come on computer you can do it once we complete this circuit here we will easily have a roller coaster that takes 10 years to complete we'll 
We'll check the math just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen. This is probably the most pain in the ass autocomplete I've ever done in my entire life. I never thought it would take this much effort to just complete this goddamn thing. Let's give it up for the unsung heroes of the roller coaster world, this lady over here, because she has to sit here while these people ride this thing for 10 years. What? in the hell is this autocomplete doing? <laughs> I never thought I would see a roller coaster attempt to divide by zero, but that's clearly what's happening here. Now I'm mostly just curious what Skynet wants to do in order to solve this equation. It kind of seems like it's taking the long road to get to the end of a very, very nearby landing area. Wow, it is building an entire new freaking roller coaster just to get, forget this, hold on. I'll, I'll see if I can make this a little bit easier, Jesus. We're sorry that Planet Coaster has stopped responding. You can end the game right now. <laughs> Ending the game just like the people on the roller coaster want to end their lives. Okay. The game will legitimately not allow me to make this thing any larger. This is as large as it is allowed. I cannot lay one single piece of track more. So now we have to find out how long the track is, and then from there, figure out how long it takes to complete the roller coaster if you were riding in it. Oops, it looks like Planet Coaster crashed. Yeah, no sh We're gonna do this in the Death Park, our calculations, because I get much better frame rates here in the Death Park, which is hilarious considering how many bodies are <laughs> Oh my God, that never gets old. Okay, so the final blueprint was $710,848. Oh, I guess I can finally put my graphics back up. There we go. Okay, minus 1920 just to make this thing. It doesn't cost any more or less if you make it higher or lower. And looking at the price of this, it looks like the pathways, if anything, are completely negligible in price. Okay, so at $11 per meter, that puts us at... 64,448 seconds of ride time. Why is there a guy underneath my testing facility? Did you get blown way the hell over here? Oh, he must have. It's still a rain of frigging carts going on inside the park. So there's 1,074.1333 repeating minutes. If there's 12 minutes to a month, that's 89.511 months. And if there's eight months to a year in Planet Coaster, that's 11.1 years in the game that it takes to complete that roller coaster. But it goes a little bit further than that, just to give you an idea, considering how fast time moves in this game, in order to test that coaster in real time, it would take 17.9 hours straight just to test. Needless to say, we did it. We made the 10 year long roller coaster. It's actually 11 years. But what's crazy is there's actually more to it than that. That roller coaster is 64,300 meters long. That means the roller coaster is 64 kilometers long. I feel like there's definitely a way to make a longer roller coaster, but maybe not in this game. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Planet Coaster, where we took children's entire lives away from them because it takes 11 years just to ride a single roller coaster. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy, much love.